is going on, everybody? Dar Sizzle put in coming at you from our beautiful flats yacht, aka flats boat today. <laughs> We're right here, just sitting inside Lake Worth Inlet. It's a gorgeous day. We're gonna do some exploring, right? Yeah, it's the mullet runner starting, and so we're gonna be doing the scoping of that for you guys, see what's going on. Could be tarpon, snook, big jacks, and so we're gonna run the beach uh, and do some fishing. Let's go. Guys, we ran the beach for a while there this morning, about a good hour. We didn't see anything, no bait, no mullet. Brian did catch a cuda right by the inlet, but besides that, we uh, didn't see much, but that's why it's called fishing, and every day is a new day out here. So now we are by beautiful Munion Island, which is just a really unique place that is uninhabited for the most part, and it's surrounded by the city, which is just really cool. So we're gonna just keep on looking, looking for bait, looking for fish. We found the poor man's tarpon, which is also known as ladyfish, and they're a blast to catch. They jump all over the place. Let's see how I get this guy to jump. He already did a bunch of jumps, but it's really fun catching them on artificial. And they're actually really big ones in shore for this time of the year. And I'm keeping them. I'm keeping a couple, whichever ones I can get into the boat. Because they're going to be great crab crab Woo! bait. Oh, here comes Brian with one, too. <laughs> we're doubled up. We're doubled up. Yeah, we just saw them on the surface and then um, just started casting and caught about three or four so far. And the hair club cooler is huge. They're going to be good bait Holy for the cooler, so we're going to stock up, I guess. I mean, perfect for Darcy's crabbing. So I'm throwing this uh, Zuri. So it's going underwater a little bit, and you, and going under, under. And the Darcy's on a DOA terrorize. And so these guys really, they like it fast. This is one of those fish that like you to pull it fast. Oh, hooked up again. Keeping them down. <laughs> Keep my rod tip down. In the boat. Jeez. Well, that's a big one. I got the well open. Oh, I'll just throw them back, back here. All right. The only problem with these guys is they make a mess. They pop off a lot. <laughs> Mine popped off already. Woo! Oh, I just threw one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a quick slow turn of the boat because they're chasing me. And then right at the boat, they, they've been grabbing it. Hooking, hooking them at the boat. No, oh, we're just eating it on the way down. Well, that was instant. Oh, I got someone else's line. Really? Oh, I weird. got a baby. That was weird. Woo! <laughs> oh, I got on top of it. Oh, jeez. Mm. <laughs> they just go flying right off. Hooked off! Oh, it's a big one. Wow. No! And he's out. He gone. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Darcy says it made too much of a big mess on the boat with the blood and the poop. No more commercial. No. <laughs> what are those things called again? Lady fish. No more commercial lady fishing. <laughs> no. We got about six or seven in like five minutes. Yeah, and so. a whole bunch more we hooked. Yeah. What is going on, everybody? Good afternoon to you, late afternoon. We usually see you guys in the morning in our videos for a start, but today we're in beautiful Boynton Beach, Florida. Yes, we're right here in a late afternoon, like Darcy said. We're between two hurricanes. Literally. So we gotta get out here and, and check out what everything's going on and hopefully catch a big fish. This is literally our last chance to come out and like scan the beach and look for these mullet and the crazy migration for like the next 10 days because of these, this hurricane situation. Yeah, so let's get out there right now. Let's get on it. Went up and down the beach for 10 miles, didn't see any mullet. Kicking him with that two stroke. So we're gonna go check that mullet spot and put out some lines, just some quick trolling. See if we catch anything. What do you think, Sizzle? What do you think, Sizzle? Ow. Sorry, I have my head down. That's what she said. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting lures. I didn't finish setting it up. Nice fish. Back On the, the short. Okay, it's literally kind of freaky, Brian. Every time he's like, we're in the zone, we're in the zone, and then we end up hooking up. <laughs> kind of crazy. But we are now trolling, and just about less than 10 minutes into the troll, first bite. We got a jack. Still exciting. It's always exciting when you're trolling inshore and you catch some fish. Woohoo! There he nice is. One. That's a little, nice little pretty one. You see the lure? Lure killing it. All right, crab pot bait. Oh, he's off. 
I'm nice. actually gonna let him go for good luck. Nice. Go for the karma. Trying not to get his slime off. <laughs> he's got one. Is he off? He's off. No, he's not. No, he's not. What do you gotta understand? I believe this is a snook. Ooh. I saw him jump. They do the classic uh, kind of like head shake, uh, head jump or at the surface. Saw it a couple times there. It is so hot. Woo! Frisky snook. All right, I'm just gonna try to flip this little guy. Yeah! Oh, look at that mark on him. Oh yeah. I don't know what's going on there. Huh, let's get him off and get him back in the water. Another fish back to back. He got hugged really well. Brand new lure right out of the box. There he is. Nice, nice little baby stuff. It's always good to see them when they're this small because you know that the population is doing well. Let's let them go. See you, little buddy. Sick. Let's catch some more. By the way, this video is brought to you by Hair Club. <laughs> All right, we're trolled into our area here and uh, we we'll started to see a little bit of mullet, so we're going to do a yeah. little more exploring. Oh, yeah, they're flashing everywhere. Thousands. For those of you guys watching that don't know what the mullet run is, we call that the mullet run, or the official name would be the mullet migration. And basically, what happens, mullet is a, special, is a bait fish, and usually they start in like the South Carolina, Virginia area, I believe. And they literally travel down the eastern seaboard, hundreds of thousands, probably millions of mullet. And they come all the way down the eastern seaboard and they wrap around the Florida Keys and they go out into the Gulf and they spawn. And this is the time of year in the fall right now when they start to migrate down this way. So what does that mean when there's hundreds of thousands of mullet all together in a tight, tight school that looks like a black mass in the water? It's the craziest thing ever. There's predators everywhere. There's massive sharks, big, big, big tarpon, snook, jack cravals, bluefish, ladyfish, you name it. They're just getting devoured by other fish that are hungry and they follow them down as they migrate. And then that's our opportunity to get out there and catch those amazing fish. And it's just one of the most crazy adrenaline, adrenaline rushes nature could ever give you. And I'm already going crazy and I haven't even seen them yet. Well, we <laughs> I don't think All I got right. that on camera, but there's a big blow up right in front of you. Was there? Yeah. Nailed him. Oh my <laughs> God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wait till you guys see this. I don't think I'm able to pick this net up. Holy moly. You just can't see him in this filth water. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh man. That's the Muller run. Woo! We're loaded, baby. There you go, sizzle. That's the start of the mullet High five. Run. Those are all the perfect size. That's what we call finger mullet. That's the size of your fingers is where the name comes from. But they get way bigger than this, too. Oh, my God, a snook. <laughs> oh, my God. He was, I didn't even know he was there, baby. I'm sorry. Let's get so right back go, in. So go. He got crushed a little bit. I'm so sorry. There he goes. <laughs> that was crazy. All right, get all your fish. You throw some back over there. You throw some the other way. You're right, you're right. You're right. We don't need any more. Throw them that way. We don't need any more. <laughs> oh, he's rolling right there. Just saw him. Yeah. Oh, I got to go right to him. Here he comes. He's blowing him up. Two different tarpon sitting right over here. I'm sure. I'm going to get my bait out there. Let's go. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this whole entire area is full of mullet and an occasional tarpon jumping. Oh my God. They're trying to catch right now. Oh my God. He just got popped right there. He just got popped. He's getting popped again right there. Eat it. All right. Almost caught a fish Keep there. the boat moving. Let's keep it moving. All right. So I'm... The idea right here, and not that we're experts or anything, but we've had of course a couple of fish in our day, is that there's a million mullet out here, right? So uh, how do you get, get the fish, the predator fish, to recognize your mullet or your bait, all right? Oh, Jesus, this bait everywhere. Guys, very, very hard artificials, okay? Um, you gotta throw them outside the schools or under the schools, okay? So you gotta get some weight on something. If you just bring something to the middle of it, you know, that's just not gonna work, okay? And uh, so we're kind of going around the school and if you have a mullet, the same thing, you know, uh, on the outside of the school or under the school with the weight. 
everything's popping. And um, so that's, you know, that's how you get, just do the best you can, right? Sometimes a dead mullet on the bottom will work better because this is all live mullet. And, you know, these snook and tarpon, they're just lazy scavengers. Uh, and so they're going to really take the easy bait, especially a tarpon will take that dead, tarp, that dead mullet all the time. Whoa! Get him, babe. Hooked up. All right, guys, been trolling around. Whoa! I'm on a fish. Look at that. What you Not got, sure babe? what it is. What you got? I don't know. It didn't jump or nothing. It could be just a jack, but it feels pretty steady. It could be a smaller snook. Again, it hasn't jumped. I'm gonna follow my fish. It's going back here. Go. This is the Akuma SRT inshore and a little Akuma Azores. Great little inshore setup. So you got a nice jack. Well, maybe. The way he's taking you around. Just watch my lines out over here. Yeah, I'm sorry, I couldn't get my bait out of the water because I was <laughs> trying to film you. It's okay. If you can get controlled off this corner, it would be very good. Get him, babe. What you got? Rod He's down, rod down. He's under the boat. He's under He's the boat. He's a jack. He's got to be. What do you got? Oh, yeah. Feisty jack on light tackle, baby. All right, not terrible. This one looks like yeah, it might be doing something. Yeah, got fish on that. You got to get that belt. I got it. Yeah, it's about to bend over. Nice jack. Heck yeah. Get it, Ryan. Reel him up. <laughs> We're definitely on something on that. Oh, hey, there's something on here. Yeah, you got some on. This is a bigger setup. This is a star. This is just a tarpon rod. Oh, Snook! Snook. Keep him he down. Keep his head you? down. Did no, he he's just on. spit you off? No, he's on. He's tiny. Okay. Nice job! I'm just gonna flip him. Look at that! All right! Line cider! Doing some mullet run fishing. Back to back, Brian <laughs> got the biggest jack and the biggest snook. There you go. That's a really light one, like an ocean color. Yeah, very pretty. Snook. Circle hook right in the corner. Got that, got that nice light. Nice. Let's get him right back in. All right. We just positioned ourselves in a good spot and uh, just a lot of bait jumping around here and we hooked up finally. So, not too shabby. Good morning, everybody. Dark Sizzle and Pudding <laughs> coming at you from our home waters right here in good old Boynton Beach today. If you're new to the channel, like I said, we introduced ourselves. But I'm also trying to be a little on the quiet side, but we're on the water. Yeah, I was like, why is she whispering? Yeah, because we're looking for bait. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's the day, it's like two days after the storm. We're on the East Coast, we're gonna get really affected, but- uh, Hurricane Ian. Yeah, Hurricane Ian devastated the uh, other side. But uh, we're trying out here to answer the question, how's the fishing after a storm? Uh, so let's get to it, and we're going to talk more about that a little bit later. But right now, we're trying to find some mullet. Yes, and experiencing extra low tides. Incredibly low. Oh, fish on! I don't know. Nice fish. I haven't seen him yet. Nice job, Sizzle. I haven't seen him yet. We're the spillway, obviously, guys. We're real close. We're real close. Here we go. Nice snook. Ready, babe? Yeah. We're gonna land it on this side of the net, okay? Yeah, right here. I'm gonna let him fall back into you, or what? Yeah. Here he is. Let him Fight, go. Let him fighting go. a lot of current here. Oh, shit. Got him. Good job, good job, good job! <laughs> Woo! I did it! I caught my first fish on a... Uh, Hawk. Yes. Yeah, baby. That's a nice fish. Let's get it measured because you keep them. Yeah, it's gonna be real close. <laughs> I always say that. Nice fish. That was sick. I knew I got hit on that last drop. I knew it. Oh, look at that. Flare hawk set perfectly in the corner of the mouth. You really gotta know how to fish these things, and I just so happened to set it on that gorgeous fish. Woo! Pretty fishy. Pretty, pretty fishy. All right, let's get a quick measurement. Move my rod. I got a keeper in the boat, y'all. Oh. Oh, let's get on the real boat. You gotta get on the real thing. Get my, get my, in here. 32 and a half. Ah, uh, 32 and a half. All right, guys. Fish is just too big for me to keep. That's unfortunate. Gorgeous girl, 32 and a half. Just look at those colors lit up. Let's let her go. She's a healthy girl. Already on biting on my thumb. Let's let her go. She just went under the boat. 
Awesome. All right, guys, and the combo that I was using just now is my uh, Stella 6000, Shimano Stella 6000, paired with my Shimano Travala jigging rod. And what I did was just tie 60 pound fluorocarbon leader on because we are fishing an area where it's very dirty water and the fish can't really see this line. And that's like a one ounce flare hawk. And you can see that little soft plastic on the end from Gambler Lures. You put that on yourself? From Gambler Lures. It was on there for a while, so. Nice. Yeah, tie it on the loop with a loop knot. Sweet, Sick. let's get another. Nice job, Darcy. Yeah, we couldn't find any bait this morning. And uh, Darcy's doing real fishing with that flare hawk. That's awesome. Brian. What? I got you a flare hawk. <laughs> Thanks. It's gonna, it'll work. Minus four plus one. It'll work. It's got a leader on it and everything. And that's exactly the weight I'm using. Lost another one. Ooh, I got it. It's a miracle. How long do you want to do this for? I don't know. Not much longer. Okay. Why don't you try that like five? Why don't you do five casts on that and we'll get out of here? These right. guys are leaving. The other guy left. I, uh, You're the only one to caught a fish here. I know. So far. Um, so look at far. that in the middle. The bait. Yeah. Getting more riled up. There, I saw it sharpen roll right next to you. Yeah, no, that's where I've seen them I all. was able to sharpen this tip, so let me cast it. Ooh, look at them go. Look at them go. Look at the bait jumping. Yeah. We haven't seen that yet. Oh. <sighs> Thought I had a fish. <laughs> It would have it would have felt like a fish because of that current. I would have done the same thing. This you got a bag of water. That's making noise over there. Like, haven't got any more bites, but you can see right behind me the water is no longer moving, no long, no more current. They've closed both of the gates. Time to move and find current. Nice fish. We got a fish on, baby. Doing our normal troll. So far, there hasn't been a lot of action, not a lot of birds. We're just not seeing a ton out here. And I feel like things are still off from the hurricane for sure, even though we didn't get a direct impact. Fish is coming in with a nice shake on the surface. What we got, what we got? Backing off the drag. Woo! Let him out, let him out, get him out. Oh, he's hooked. Woo! Oh, he's off. Nice. That's why you keep the line tight, guys. All right. Very frisky. <laughs> Snook right there. Well, let me hold him. He's actually pretty cold from the water. Woo! All right. So our water temperatures even dropped by 10 degrees today, which is just not normal for this time of the year. Let's let this little guy go. Nice. Whoa! Okay. Hopefully he didn't just slice me open right there. I think I'm good. <laughs> it did feel like it, kind of. I'm good. <laughs> nice job, Dar Sizzle. Thanks. Brian can't catch a fish. I just caught that fish because I was driving. That's true. <laughs> I'll give you park, park credit. But yeah, you know, there's a couple days after the storm, and I'm talking about the storm, talking about the storm. We're going to put some links in the description below about how you can help for the storm. Yes. Uh, in, in our opinion, you know, uh, first off, you know, help your neighbor. You know, if you guys live in the area, of course, and you don't need help, help your neighbors and your friend network. And if you're out of town, you know, send money. That's what they say, you know, either the Red Cross or this Florida Disaster Fund, which is a thing set up for private donations by the state of Florida. You know, two great places to send money uh, that are reputable. Yes. Right? Yeah, they really need help. They got devastated. Yeah. So, um, you know, we, again, we got another, we didn't get hit over here at all, so don't worry about us, but you know, we got nothing else to do, but go back to work here and do some fishing to let everyone know Florida Lots of Florida is open, more open than closed. So come to Florida and visit. Get over to that Naples area. And, you know, when they're having our hardest hit, you know, when, when it's safe and when you can, book a charter, go out to dinner, do whatever you got to do over there. Just get over there and spend money as soon as, as soon as, you know, it, it, as soon as you can, as soon as it's safe and normal. Yes, what he said. <laughs> All right, let's get back to fishing, Sizzle. Let's do it. Just got a fish. Yeah, oh yeah, the water temperature dropped like 10 degrees, so I don't, uh, it's like tough, tough. Very tough. I mean, it's a, I'm honestly surprised we caught that fish. Yeah. But great job on that flare hawk before. Thanks. That's real fishing, real fishing. First flare hawk snook. Nice. Only took me 10 years. <laughs> she doesn't fish him, I fish him. I fish yeah, him sometimes. Yeah, he makes me fish live bait. 
Not well. A more guaranteed catch. Yeah, we mix it up, you know. All right, guys, there's a bag at the house. Yes. <laughs> this is magic. Yeah, I, I hope you guys, you know, we strung together, uh, obviously, a couple days or three days of fishing. And, you know, the mullet run and fishing, you know, you just have to get out there and go fish. You know, everyone asks, how's the fishing after the storm? You know, it depends on a lot of different factors. You know, and the best idea, as always, right, is to get out there and fish. Yes, I mean, there's <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. time on the water. I can't say that enough. Like, it's all about that. Like, the more hours you're out there, the more you're gonna see, the more it's gonna happen. Just like anything else, like, you just gotta put your time in. Right, I, and I know there was like, there's a great mahi bite offshore right now because the wind came around really from the northeast. Yeah. And I know there was a great near the pier bite um, because, because the water was kind of weird, but like, you know, inshore, you know, boy, and the water temp was down. So, it just, and but we caught fish at the spillway because there was a good current there. Yeah. So, just go fishing is the answer. Yes. <laughs> right? Simple. Very <laughs> simple. But let us know down in the comments below if you like this three day saga format. Yeah. Format. We appreciate it. And until our next adventure, follow Bye your dreams. dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Kiss. Oh, that was a good one. And if you got a minute, check out the next video. Darcy picked it out just for you. He's so nice.